It weighs more than 14,000 tonnes and is 138 metres long. It carries 16 missiles with nuclear warheads. This is one of the four French missile-launching nuclear submarines. The Allies visited this colossus at the operational base of the Ile Longue in France. The visit was linked with the review of NATO's nuclear deterrence policy. As decided at the Lisbon summit, this review is part of a new strategic environment and follows the adoption of the new strategic concept. So basically, uh, NATO wants to deter and defend against the actual threats. So basically now what is ongoing is a process that NATO is reviewing, which is the appropriate mix. So which nuclear forces are necessary? What else of uh, conventional missile defense forces is needed for NATO in order to, uh, to provide the security that it wants to provide to the, uh, to the Allies? France has a special position within NATO. It does not take part in integrated nuclear planning, but contributes to the security of allies and overall deterrence. The point is that any potential enemy knows that if he attacks our vital interests, he will suffer unacceptable damage. And the only weapon that can result in the disproportionate damage that he would suffer versus the potential advantages he would gain from an attack is a nuclear weapon. What we wanted to do was to show the permanent representatives and all the allies what deterrence means on a daily basis. What I mean is deterrence is a concept. It's a very simple concept and at the same time a very powerful concept. But it means nothing unless it's backed up, implemented by men and women who have made deterrence their daily commitment. Above all, it means nothing unless it's supported by operational resources. France is modernizing its arsenal. The M51 missile, which was brought into active service at the end of 2010, will gradually replace the M45 missile. The M51 performs significantly better than the M45. Modernizing our deterrence means above all maintaining our capabilities. In other words, not discovering one day that we have dropped behind technologically. And for example, we can no longer penetrate the enemy's missile defense with our nuclear armed ballistic missiles. Equipped with these missiles, the submarines take their turns on patrols lasting two and a half months. They disappear into the sea with 110 crew members on board. These men are trained and ready to fire upon the order of the French head of state. This is more or less the only order that the submarine may receive during the patrol. Communication with the outside world is limited. No one on dry land knows where the submarine is. Only its commander knows its position. Our position is highly confidential. The French concept is that the submarine should reinforce its invulnerability. The submarine must be able to disappear into a vast space where there is very little chance of finding it. So the commander is very much free to carry out his patrol as he sees fit and no one on land in France knows the position of the submarine. And so there is no way of putting pressure on anyone on land to try to find out where the submarine is. Another feature of the submarine is that it is discreet. It is undetectable under the sea thanks to its passive sonar, which picks up sounds but does not emit any. So it doesn't make any noise other than its movement under the water. The discretion is... Making the submarine discreet has been a major effort ever since it was designed. The main element is the acoustic energy radiated by the submarine, the noise it makes in the sea. Ever since the design stage, the submarine manufacturer has tried to reduce the sound coming from the submarine in the water. So since the beginning, the idea has been to make engines which are already quiet and are moreover mounted on sound insulating suspension blocks on the engine seating. The Allies have learnt about the French experience and this provides food for a report on nuclear deterrence in the light of the next NATO summit in 2012. The crew prepares to spend the next two and a half months in this invisible and noiseless submarine, ready to activate the most powerful and deadly weapon in the world. 
But the men remain calm, because the nuclear weapon is intended, first and foremost, for deterrence, not for use. Leticia Chardonnay on the Ilong for NATO Channel.